Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here for an interesting video. I want to just talk about something a little different, but something that's been on mine for quite a while. And that's Carl Edwards getting the NASCAR Hall of Fame. So, when he retired in the beginning of 2017, right after the end of the 2016 season, it was like January, he said, I'm going to retire. Now, you can, of course, people speculate why he retired, all this stuff, but what matters is he retired <laughs> at the the end of that season, which means he would be eligible to get in the Hall of Fame. Now, I was I was really hoping he'd get in 2021 uh, as a person that was on the ballot. Uh, I was really hoping that he would get picked. And when they had the fan vote, he was one of the drivers that had picked for that. Um, but... I guess you can say I've always sort of paid attention to Carl Edwards racing. Uh, he was my mom's my mom's favorite driver when he raced, so I guess you could say I paid attention to <laughs> his racing. Um, he's one of the drivers that, you know, it was cool when he would win races. So we're going to break down some of the stats and really just go over Carl Edwards' career and why he should be in the Hall of Fame. And, you know, there are drivers that have you know, less stats than him that are in, so I I don't see why he shouldn't. And uh, 2022 is a good year to vote him in. So we're going to go over that. And these stats actually, if you compare to Dale Jr. who got in in 2021, they're very similar. And of course, Dale Jr. has his Xfinity team, which does help with that, having a successful Xfinity team, and being the most popular driver for years also helps get in on the first year. But Still, they're very similar stats, so I should see both of them being in at some point. Of course, Dale Jr. already voted in, so just want to throw that out there. That these stats are very similar. Uh, wins in the Cup Series. Curl does 26, which is pretty good. Uh, 220 top 10s, 22 poles. Uh, and his second place in the championship in 2008 and 2011, closest he got to a championship. And also in 2016, he was right there until he got taken out by Joey Logano. Now, if we didn't have the chase or playoffs, or whatever you want to call it, he would have won the championships in those seasons. So, make what you want out of the chase in the playoffs. And his nine wins in 2008 was the most that any driver had in a season since 2008 until 2020 here with Kevin Harvick. Pretty high up there on that list of wins in a season. I think the most is 13 in, of course, the modern era by uh, Jeff Gordon. So... Pretty close to that, the nine wins. No driver has equaled that since 2008 until this year. Uh, in the Xfinity Series, he's got 38 wins, 174 top 10s, 27 poles, and the 2007 championship, so Xfinity Series champion right there. That's pretty good. And also when it comes to the Truck Series, six wins, 35 top 10s, four poles, and fourth in the championship in 2004. So... In all three series, it's been relatively close to a championship, but of course, the trucks don't factor in as much as, you know, the Cup career does if it's a driver that's in the Cup Series. But, for the Cup Series, um, those are some good stats. 26 wins is not bad. It's, you know, in the range of all drivers that have gotten in. So, you know, that's that's a good range of a really decent driver. Of course... You get up in the range of you get a driver that's like 50, 60, 70, 80 wins. It's a whole other category. That's like wild. But still, almost 30 wins is pretty good. So, some other stats. <coughs> yeah. He's one of only 34 drivers that have won in all three series. Of course, that stat... Years ago, it would have been a little bit more impressive when the truck series was a bit newer. Now the truck series has been there for a long time. A lot of these drivers just sort of, you know, it's part of the stepping stone to get to the cup series. So uh, a little less impressive than it used to be. But still, only 34 drivers have ever won in all three series, and he's one of them. Um, he's also the first driver to win his first cup and Xfinity Series race in the same weekend, which is a little bit of an interesting fact. And also won the 2015 Coke 600 and Southern 500. And also, of course, made it to the championship four in Homestead 
in 2016. Probably would have won that race if they didn't call a random ass debris caution for no reason. And then he got taken out by Joe Lugano. So, I mean, look at all these stats. This is a very, very good case for driving to be in the Hall of Fame. I think that he raced really well. He was definitely on a lot of weekends a threat to be up there going for wins. And, you know, of course, coming in second in championships is is impressive. And I just want to acknowledge real quick, as I said in the beginning, that Carl Edwards was my mom's favorite driver. Before she liked Carl Edwards, she liked Mark Martin. And for a while, she liked both of them at the same time. So she's she's pretty good at picking drivers that come second in championships. Of course, Mark Martin coming in second five times, and Carl Edwards coming second two times. <laughs> Seven times she's seen her favorite drivers come second <laughs> in the championship. Which is um which is fun because then you know, we can uh <laughs> I could say to her at least that my drivers have won being uh Tony Stewart fan who's won you know, he's got three championships, Kevin Harvick has one, so there you go. And my dad's a fan of uh, or at the time, fan of Jeff Gordon, so you know. <laughs> our drivers got combined uh eight championships. So that's fun. But <laughs> back to Carl Edwards specifically. Um just I think he's a good driver. I I don't see why he shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. I think that there's no reason that he shouldn't be in. I think that he obviously was one of those drivers that was very close to championships and was very much winning races and having great seasons, like the 2008 season that he had and the 2011 season. Those ones really stand out for the wins. Having nine wins in a season and having five in another one, that's... It's pretty good. Those other years were decent form as well. Of course, a lot of drivers that are... Uh, it seems like every year there's a certain driver that just pops off. And he popped off in that year to win nine of his 26 races. So, between those two seasons, he won 15 or 14 of his 26. And the other years, you know, he won two or three. And winning those crown jewel races is, is good. So, to be a driver who consistently can put out, you know, on average a two or three win season... That's Hall of Fame worthy. Um, and again, he didn't win championships based on the system. He was the best driver in those years. And that's unfortunately something we see in NASCAR, that the the f- format has now affected who the best driver is. Because again, racing isn't like other sports. You know, we're not looking at baseball or football where playoffs are part of it. And they have been forever. You know, you always have had that, like, that type of thing that sort of came in over time. Like, they've they've added and expanded it more, get more teams involved. But it feels more natural in a those types of sports where you have an elimination tournament. Where in racing, you know, to be consistent over a regular season and have a bad race or two, I don't know. I think that <laughs> going back to regular points makes more sense to me, but I know that they never will, and it alters who the champion should be. You know, we should be talking about Carl Edwards as a two-time champion. Uh, we should talk about Jeff Gordon as a seven-time champion. That kind of thing, like, it affects that. So I think you got to, you know, factor that in. He would be a two-time champion if the system wasn't just wild. Like, you know, 2011... I think is the one that stands out for me. I mean, uh, like I said, I'm a fan of Tony Stewart. He's one of her drivers, same and Kevin Harvick. But, you know, to see the way that that worked out, you can be really great over 26 races. One driver can, you know, get to be... Oh, no, I think Carl Edwards didn't win five that year. I think it was Tony Stewart that won five, and he only won, like, one or two, but was super consistent. Like, that's the thing. He lost a tiebreaker because he won less races in the season. He was more consistent. You know, Tony Stewart was really bad in the beginning of 2011. He, like, barely got into the chase. And then to come out and win five of the ten races, to get hot at the end of the season, and barely, like, win. (laughs) Win because you have more wins in that span. Like, uh, I don't know. 
Carlos was a super consistent 2011. Even though he only got one win. I believe that's what the stat was. I had it backwards. Who had one and who had five. Even though he had one win, he was so consistent that he was that far ahead in points that Tony Stewart had to go and win five races to get to where he is, to be tied. He was way behind. And then just to... Just to see that's very unfortunate. And I think for me, another thing that stands out is that 2016 championship. I remember watching that one. Seeing Carlos being the lead, it was like 15 laps to go. I think Kyle Busch was in second. He was not chasing him down. Carlos had that thing won, and NASCAR decides they're going to throw a random debris caution. We never saw the debris. It's one of their mystery things just to spice it up. And they changed the champion because of that. <laughs> it's absolutely obnoxious. So, there's a lot of instances where Carlos should be the champion, and I think based on that, being so close, having that many wins, being an Xfinity champion, Hall of Fame where they put him in in 2022. Let's do it. Come on. Let's make this happen. <laughs> so that's that. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think Carlos should be a Hall of Fame driver, or do you think he's just one of those drivers that's not good enough to be in the Hall of Fame? Let me know down below. And with that... Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.